Perspective is really just all about the triangle. This is the most important thing in, in perspective. Everything you're going to do is going to be related to that. Um, if you've drawn boxes, typically, you know, you've drawn them potentially a lot with this three-sided box view, right? But in perspective, we're going to focus in on the two-sided box. One where you only see two sides, typically. There are situations where we're going to use the three-sided box in perspective, but for the most part, it rings true that we're going to use this two-sided box. And the important thing to remember is, with the two-sided box, it is really just two triangles that are sliced off, just like that. So, if you ever get confused, remember, just come back to triangles. And our anchor points in perspective are always going to be full of triangles. If you've done work with planes, you should be fairly comfortable. So, any plane is really just a triangle, right? And you just cut it off. The change we're going to make in perspective, though, is that all of our triangles are going to connect at a point. So if this is our point, we're going to take a triangle, cut it off there, we're going to make a new triangle, cut it off there, another triangle, do that over there, and everything's going to hit that point, right? We can even change the direction, we can make them float, and everything is always just going to come back to that to that vanishing point. So that's our first vocabulary term really, is vanishing point. Um, and that's where all of the triangles just connect with each other. If you want to create that floating feel, where you're getting perspective, all you have to do is just make sure that these lines are parallel to each other when you cut off the triangle. So if you cut off the triangle here, just make sure the lines are parallel. And they can be at really any angle. It doesn't matter. Um, and that's going to almost look like you're potentially like looking down at something. The next thing we have to introduce is the horizon line, which is essentially just your eye level. So if we take the horizon line and we stick a vanishing point on it, The vanishing point is basically just wherever it is that you're looking on the horizon line. Um, our first sort of perspective rule is that if we draw a triangle, in one point perspective anyway, and the triangle goes on either side of this horizon line, our lines that, that are going to bisect here are definitely going to be vertical. Whenever we're drawing in perspective, as long as we're not doing anything too funky, we only have three types of lines. We have your horizontal line, your vertical line, and your diagonal that's going to form the triangle. So if you create a triangle that goes above or below the horizon line, it could be that all of the lines are horizontal, but it could also be that the lines are vertical. Right? So, this is our rule, is that if the triangle goes above or below the horizon, you, you'll you cut it off with either horizontal or vertical. If it goes above, if it goes above and below, then you're only going to use verticals. So, important to remember that to keep you straight. 